Hello everyone and welcome to episode 1 of the Ultimate Decades Challenge. This is the first time I've ever played any kind of challenge, so I'm really excited for this. If you didn't watch my last video, I was basically talking about how I needed to reinvigorate my love for The Sims 4 in order to become a better modder. You may be familiar with me as the creator of the royalty mod, which I know a lot of people who play this challenge, um, they download quite often. Um, I was watching quite a few YouTube videos on this challenge before I started filming this, and it was like a jump scare every time I, I heard like a, a feature from the royalty mod, or I'm using the royalty mod, I was like, oh, oh god. <laughs> I also can't play with my own mods, so I will not be using the royalty mod in this save either. But today we have the Westcott family and we have this adorable little house and they have their own cow over here. What is this? I hate this. This has been coming up all throughout building this and stuff and I just, what is that? I hate that. But yeah, today we have the Westcott family. Um, I'll just introduce you to the Sims I'm starting with and then I'll give you a little tour of their, their very humble abode. So she's here, so I might as well. This is Nelwyn Westcote, or Westcott. I might say both. <laughs> she is the wife of my main heir, and I just think that she is so, so cute. Uh -huh. She's so beautiful. Well, she's walked off now, but her traits are loyal, loves outdoors, and romantic. And... I have installed, um, oh, I can't remember what the mod name is, but um, I think it's like Healthcare Redux. So she is malaria immune, which I didn't know was a thing. That's really cool. And she has a normal immune system, which, you know, it's better than a poor immune system, I guess, especially in these times. Um, and she's meningitis uh, immune as well, which is awesome. <laughs> Who is this? Why are you here? Is this the front door? That's the bathroom. Oh, go away. Okay, and this here is Udel or Udel. I don't know whose bold child this is, but we're just gonna ignore her. So, oh my god, that's so cute. That's the replacement mod for phones and everything. I'm still trying to figure out the uh, filters on MC Command Center to, to like get these kind of people to stop showing up. But anyway, we'll ignore the bold child for now. Uh, yes, this is Udell, Udell Westcote, and Westcott, sorry, and he is loyal, just like his wife, he's a perfectionist, and he is cheerful, and he has a strong immune system, which for our heir in the 14th century, that's like striking gold, I think. He would love to have a child as well, which is really cute. He isn't, um, he doesn't have any immunities like she does though, so I'm not sure if this mod passes down immunities to children, but that would be awesome, especially meningitis. I also just want to, oh my god, it's so cute. I want to uh, introduce the animals really quick. I love the animals in this game. That came with um, Cottage Living, I think. Oh, I did not tell us to do that. Oh, it's so cute. Whoever did the animations for the animals, they did such a good job. For people who don't know, I have a degree in game design and I had to take a semester of animation. Genuinely, the worst, most painstaking semester of my whole entire life. Go away, what is this? Anyway, here's their one and only cow that they could afford called Koo, <laughs> or Koo, <laughs> however it's pronounced in Old English. I tried to go with some, like, time-appropriate names, so I don't know. I think maybe they'd be like, well, we don't want to name this cow because, you know, we might end up eating it in the winter if we have to. Um, so they just named him Cow, or her, Cow, or Koo. <laughs> and then these are the birds. I don't really know what these do oh they help with gardening that's actually really cool to have it's called this the westcott flock <laughs> so cute and i downloaded uh a override for the chickens and the llamas and stuff so we've got geese and we've got uh ducks and a sheep this one is called mert short for myrtle like you'd find in your garden ben elfwin I believe, I, I asked ChatGPT for all of these names, all right? Oh, I'm not that creative, but I believe Elfwin is like little elf friend, <laughs> something like that. Oh, they're all really hungry, that's my bad. <laughs> Green, Bran, Grease. 
win. Where's the other one? There is another one around it. Oh, there you go. This one just like hangs around and he just, just like peeks around this corner. He's really weird. Edwin. <laughs> and the sheep, of course. Long tail. That's so cute. I love this. So much better, except for that. It's so much better than a llama. <laughs> I'll deal with the creepy animations, all right? And then this is called the Westcott Aiden. Aiden isn't like an old English term for eggs. I believe Geoffrey Chaucer wrote Aiden and his books in place of eggs. I don't think that's where it comes from, but I think like that's what people reference when they reference an old word for eggs. Um, and Westcott sheep. Sheep. <laughs> Okay, now for the most important part, the house. Let me just pause this because it's actually getting pretty late and they still have stuff to do. So, this is so cute. This, I basically used this as a shell. I downloaded it off the gallery. It did come slightly different and I completely changed the inside. But I'll link below to the gallery ID for this. So when I originally wanted to play this, I was like, I'm not going to be too like, anal about, <laughs> about things being time frame accurate. And then I started building. I downloaded the house. I was like, oh, they wouldn't have this. They wouldn't have that. And before you know it, like I changed the whole layout. So it was really common in the 14th century for peasants to live with their animals. So they don't have a door here. This is a barn sort of area where the cow lives. And I have a free range mod that allows you to place cows wherever. So the cow does actually sleep in here. But generally, they would sleep in the same room as they did everything else in. And the most important part of that room was the hearse or the fire because it would keep the entire room warm. Like, you wouldn't want to sleep out here with the animals because it would be really cold. I also added, like, a little cellar because, because they didn't have fridges back then. So generally, I think they would dry things out or smoke things and preserve them. Or they would keep them underground if they could or somewhere really cold. Um, in order to prolong them basically. But anyway, this is actually a fridge. Um, it's so dark down here. But <laughs> I should put a candle or something. Um, and then they got like little shelves and stuff. I am using Little Bo Bob's uh, Ye Old Cookbook. Ye Old Cookbook mod. That is really difficult for me to say with my accent. <laughs> but yeah, they'll probably be living off of gruel for quite a while. Um, they can't even afford... Why do we have four simoleons? I don't know why they have that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can't afford to get seeds yet until I think probably tomorrow when the town square opens up and they can go sell some eggs and stuff, but then we'll buy some seeds. Anyway, back to the interior. Um, yeah, so this is like essentially where they cook and everything. For the most part, this is a grill, so they can't cook everything on here. I love that they can brew herbal remedies on here, though, because that would be really, really handy for this time. And also to sell. Um, sorry if my mouse is weird. I dropped my mouse and now it, like, double clicks all the time. Or sometimes it just doesn't click at all. <laughs> but um, otherwise, I have this oven from Little Bo Bob's Mod. Uh, it's not exactly like time frame appropriate and also like I don't feel like they'd have loads of access to polished stones like this. Um, well, they're not really polished, but you know what I mean. They're a bit nicer than the, the really rough stuff that they would have had access to. Um, but yeah, we'll use that because it actually functions like a proper oven. But this is their bedroom. And over here we have a honey press, I believe it's called. Um, because what we will do is we will really focus on producing stuff like honey at first. And then I do have this candle making table over here. I'm not entirely sure if it does use the beeswax um, from the hive outside. I'll show you that in a minute. But we can use both the honey and the beeswax at first to make candles and to sell the honey, obviously. And I think probably make some remedies and then, once they get some money together from that, I think they would get into brewing mead. Uh, and I think we could make quite a lot of money from that. But also as well, I would love to replace these bi-mode candles with the actual candles in game that burn down. So we would have to keep on top of that as well. And this is just a little food preparation area and a dining table. 
And this kind of like sitting around the fire, sort of uh, in the middle of the room, layout is like super common in early medieval. It's 14th century early medieval. I kind of don't believe it is. Maybe, it's, I don't know. I'll have to fact check myself on that. But yeah, I will put up a few images here of like the houses I, I found on Google Images and I was just like, oh, I'll use, I'll use a bit of that for uh, inspiration. So out here I have an override of the um, honey, little bee, uh, what's it called, that beekeeping thing? Beekeeping house? <laughs> but this is like way more appropriate and really cool. Um, we can actually gather the honey in a minute, so we will do that. We will make his wife cook something up because <laughs> patriarchy. <laughs> and we'll send him to do the manual labor. I also have like this little sink replacement here. So they can use that inside of a sink, but they do have this like little water bowl inside, which is kind of exactly the same thing. And then this little like lock box, it's not a lock box, but this little storage chest at the end of their bed, I think like that's where they would keep all of their like beloved belongings or um, little trinkets that are worth something. Okay, since it's already almost 4 p.m., we are going to get Nelwyn to prepare some gruel for them both. And then Udo, what is he doing? <laughs> He's just smelling the bath, I guess. That's the toilet. Ooh, dude, that's so gross. Um, let's get her to make some gruel, wherever that is. Uh, cooking, broths and soups. Yeah, let's do... I do know that we can't have leftovers in this, so... We will just do a family size and then they can both eat two servings. But yeah, I haven't actually played The Sims properly uh, in quite a long time. And this is like in order to get me back into it. Anyway, we are going to have Udal here gather some honey. You can see like the little bees around it. This is so, so cute. A little beehive in there, I think. And he doesn't have a, a beekeeping suit. Obviously, did he get some? No. Oh, okay. He's too grossed out by the bugs. Oh, he got stung. <laughs> okay. So, and where's he doing? Serve gruel. Obviously, she just went down to the fridge. What is she doing? Where's the gruel? Bestie, come on. What's that about? I might have to delete that. Do they not have anywhere to prepare this or something? Just casually, one-handing it. <laughs> Okay, he's going to cook the gruel instead, and let's make her, she just wants to chat with him, they're so obsessed with each other, it's really cute. Um, let's check if there's any eggs. Collect eggs, awesome. So they can sell these tomorrow, she really needs to feed them as well. Loads of eggs, awesome. So let's feed them as well. Oh, I forgot we actually have to pay. Well, that's good that we had four simoleons, hey, isn't it? They're going to have to fight over this, because they won't get fed until tomorrow. <laughs> um, we can't afford to feed the sheep, unfortunately, so... Sorry, Longtail. We can, however, shear him, so we're going to do that. Um, and then... Who is this, and why is he bold? Why is everyone bold? It's not like... Oh, I think he's just meant to be. <laughs> oh, very 14th century. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, she's just like, I'm gonna go eat some gruel instead. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love Little Bo's mod. It's so cute. She is just gonna go sit away from her husband, apparently. He's still uncomfortable because of the sting. However, that's about to end, so <laughs> maybe we'll go for round two. <laughs> He's talking about how he misses McDonald's. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to stop that. Please eat inside. Okay. Hi. You're welcome to do that. <laughs> I thought it was that bold blacksmith again. <laughs> Oh, I love the cows in this game. My god, how many spoonfuls was in that bowl? Okay, screw that. You're gonna go get stung again. Oh, what? Well, apparently he's still grossed out by the bugs. 
so I don't understand what's going on there. But he's also got this never enough from eating gruel. It may have filled the belly, but it always leaves the sim wanting more. <laughs> anyway, let's try and get her. Why is she sad? She's sad from the gruel, and she's sad because she... <laughs> she's sad because he's sad because of the gruel too. <laughs> okay. Let's chance it. I don't... I think she's going to get stung as well because she's very sad. And the bees can smell your sadness. Yeah, she just got stung. Good god. Alright, well, apparently... Koo... <laughs> Koo... It's gonna take the bed. <laughs> but, like, this was probably what it was a bit like in the 14th century. It is 8pm. They're not tired yet. Okay, so... They need soy wax. I will just see if we can get beeswax from the bees and see if that enables this for that. Um, if it doesn't, like between you and me, I <laughs> I might go into the code and I might like be just like, you can also use the beeswax. <laughs> That's the great thing about being a modder. If I don't like how some of it works, I can change it. <laughs> And we got this broom over here as well. This is by Mizor Yuki. Mizor Yuki, sorry, not Yuki. <laughs> um, and you can just sweep around with it. It's a replacement for the vacuums from Bust the Dust, which is so good. Well, I think they should probably. <laughs> well, they're flirty. And the cow's here, so. <laughs> oh, that was not what I thought. That was. <laughs> uh, let's give her some privacy. Um, <laughs> he's just like, um, excuse me? <laughs> I am your husband. <laughs> Why is he naked? Oh, okay. <laughs> he's got his... <laughs> Did he put a mask on? Where is this man going? It's 9pm. What is that? Oh, it's a shadow. Where is he going? He had to run away. He was so shocked by her behavior. Where are you going? She's chasing after him. Okay, anyway. Let's um actually make them do the deed this time. And hopefully we have a new generation very soon. I was about to say, and the cow is out of the house as well. <laughs> oh, there you go. Now the cow is just giving them a little bit of privacy. <laughs> Lumina. Oh, hello. <laughs> Time traveler. <laughs> okay, apparently they can't woohoo in the bed because I placed it awkwardly. I think I'm gonna have to move their bed. That's so annoying. I really liked their bed though. Okay, I moved some things around and now they can woohoo in peace. And the cow. It's also buggered off for a bit, so... <laughs> hey, they can get into bed. Alright. I don't mind this new little setup. I love their little nightgowns, it's so cute. I think I'm also gonna have to lock this door and try and prevent the... Let's set this as front door for a moment. Try and prevent the damn cow from getting in. Oh, I totally forgot we had mini goats and mini sheeps. Let's do all livestock. Uh, oh. All cows and llamas? Or... Okay, let's do all cows and llamas because we can get through here. I also think that's a girl, not a boy. I'm going to keep calling him he. <laughs> okay, so they've done the deed. And now, because it's the 14th century, we can't use a pregnancy test. I did see someone in someone's comments say they could use like a mixture of like barley and something else, I think. Where is she going? What's that about? You can go to sleep. All right. <laughs> yeah, they said like there was some sort of home remedy that was like 80%. Uh, it worked like 80% of the time. Oh God, look at this. I love this. That's so cute. I think that's by Pancake. This little animation. And I, I love this. I'm never taking it out of my game now. It's so, so cute. I don't know if this cow can sleep. It keeps complaining. Yeah, this cow is like trying to go some. Oh my god. Trying to go somewhere, but 
Yeah, is that because I've locked the door? Is it now annoyed that it can't get in here? I'm just gonna leave it for a little bit, see what happens. No, the cow can still get in the damn house. <laughs> hey, look at this, we've got some little mushrooms. I wonder if we can sell those. Okay, it's 7am. She needs to pee. So does he. <laughs> but today we need to go to the markets to sell our eggs and we really need to try and get some honey. I'll, I'll make sure she's in a good mood and I'll try and get her to look how many mushrooms we have. Were they on here before? That's so cute. I love that. Um, sorry, I say everything's cute, but it is. I like this game. It's stylized. <laughs> it's like so good. <laughs> what is this? Lover's comfort from cuddling in bed. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> he needs to take a bubble bath. <laughs> you know what I've just realized? I took off off the grid so I could use the MC command center on the in, on the computer. I never put it back on. So that's why you take a <laughs> questionable fashion for the bath. But all right, make some gruel. Oh, oh okay, that's not. Make some more gruel. Hair? Is it broken already? Oh, I just made a party size, didn't I? Oh well. Okay, she's going down into the root cellar to grab some stuff for gruel. Um, I have set the time in the game to go a little bit slower. It's usually set at 25 milliseconds per sim minute. I've got it set to 50, so because the, the days just go too fast in game for me, I can never get anything done. Uh, so we'll see how 50 milliseconds goes. I might actually bump it up to like 75, to be honest. They're still going really, really fast. He's taking his sweet ass time in the bath. Let's make him use the toilet. Once he's no longer uncomfortable. What is that? Oh, <laughs> it's a goose. <laughs> uh, yeah, we will make him gather some honey. Why are you embarrassed? Breath conscious. I'm not brushing teeth for 24 hours. You are a medieval surf. Is she doing this thing again? You but stupid. Oh. Is she nauseous? Oh. 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 Well, all right then. I don't think we need a pregnancy test. <laughs> She's just down there puking. <laughs> oh, what's that? Maybe she threw up because his breath smelled bad. I, I think it's the uh, the ladder though. <laughs> oh, they are just going to be uncomfortable all of the time. Okay, let's eat some gruel first. I really don't like that she plays there all the time that's really annoying because then he'll sit over there let's just let them enjoy their gruel for a minute that's <laughs> so cute oh damn oh i thought he finished already oh there you go now he's sitting next to his wife this override mod the book instead of the phone oh it's so much better they do have the close sentiments, or family dynamic, I think it is. So they get on really well. But that does mean they just don't shut up when they're supposed to be eating. <laughs> okay, who's in a better mood? He's happy. Go and get some damn honey. That's annoying me. <laughs> he needs to stop. Had enough food for now. Look at all these mushrooms. You can't pick them, unfortunately. Did you... Did you get stung? What happened? Do, do anything? Yes, she got some honey. Awesome. So, I'm going to send him to the marketplace, and then I'll... You know, it's the 14th century. She would realistically be doing the washing and cleaning and all that. So that's what she'll do. <laughs> I'm sorry if that offends anyone, but... You know, that's, that's how things were back then. Uh, I did notice she didn't get any beeswax, so it would be really cool if they got beeswax from that. Uh, I might, like, just... 
add beeswax to what they get from that real quick. Um, I might do that before the next episode. Um, so they can actually make candles, because that would be so, so good. Anyway, let's... I'm going to put the eggs here, so he can grab them. And then there's the honey as well. Put that in your inventory. Who's... Oh, that's his wife. <laughs> um, yes, I know you're all hungry. We will feed you soon. And then we'll try and shear the sheep as well again. Whoa. Holy fuck, we got 14 eggs. Sorry for swearing. I'm Australian. I can't help it. <laughs> Is it going to work this time? Oh. <laughs> okay, um, let's go to the town center. This is using Little Boy Bub's mod. I assume that we can sell things there. I did look at the code. Um, <laughs> don't even look at the description of the mod. I'll look at the code. <laughs> um, why did I click on that? So, go to village shop, maybe? And hopefully he can sell that. We'll get some money. We can feed the animals. Because that is what is important right now. And then secondly, there's more mushrooms. Anyway, secondly, we'll get some seeds. Okay, so she's going to go and light this. Which I thought they were already doing. Oh, I assume this is both a fireplace and... Oh, that makes sense. What are you going to go do with the cow? Clean her. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, she just like popped back in clean. But we should definitely like... Oh, I forgot we can milk. <laughs> I forgot we can milk cows. Wow. <laughs> I wish I'd gotten a damn goat instead now. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that we can purchase things, but we can't sell them. Hmm. So does that mean we can only sell from inventory? If that's actually the case, then again, I might just like be a bit sneaky and add like a sell option to this. I don't think the meat market's going to be of any use. Okay, we can also go hunting and foraging, which is pretty cool. I might actually send him forward. I'm going to send him hunting actually to go and get some meat. Um, anyway, yeah, so it looks like at the moment we can only sell from the inventory. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> it's like less immersive, you know. Uh, we'll, let, look, we'll do it for now. Uh, 80 simoleons. Damn, that's good. And then, damn. Uh, do we want to keep some eggs, actually? Let me... Okay. Let's go downstairs and put some of the eggs in the fridge. Well, I just put the eggs in the fridge, and because he's gone, I can't put them back in his inventory. So, we'll do that in a second. Um, okay, let's... She's cleaning this out, I think, at the moment. Yeah, so she's cleaning this. The sheep, long tail, also needs to be cleaned. Let's clean. Let's look at uh, half feed level, which is good. I didn't think they had any food. Oh. Oh, uh -huh. But now we also have some money so we will scatter some feed nearby i think we're gonna have to hand feed the cow because it doesn't have like a little thing to go and eat in so oh my god this takes forever you know what we could like leave this here and let some trash plants grow because we could sell the trash i'm pretty sure okay i'm gonna build up her relationship with Longtail. Why does this sheep not like her? <laughs> um, so she can shear him easier. Uh, we will need to scatter some more feed, definitely. I love these overrides, they're so cute. Count how many times I say, so cute. <laughs> Alright, that should be enough for now. Oh, I love how they run. It's, oh, I'm trying not to say it. <laughs> um, when is he home? He's... Uh, three quarters of the way through hunting. So she is feeling gross. She's going to take a bath. 
The gruel is still good for another four and a half hours. I might get her to eat some after- Whoa! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, look at the duck. The goose, sorry. <laughs> um, she is going to wash her hands after taking a bath because that's normal. Are you hungry? No. Okay. We'll feed the cow anyway. I don't know. <laughs> um yep so we have milk let me just pause this and put some of the milk downstairs um you know what would be so cool is a lot trait that um like a root cell a lot trait where things just stay preserved if they're underground i i might like actually <laughs> this is half the reason i'm playing this is to get these ideas because you know if you don't play the game you don't know what players need or want you know, I would have never have known that like a root cell lot trait could be really handy. So anyway, let's um, let's put the milk in the fridge. But like, how much more like time appropriate and like immersive would it be if it we just like stored the milk on a shelf underground? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, and then that's water. I still don't know what. Ah. Oh, that's because the lot has the damn eco lot on it. And I couldn't take it off. I don't know why. So, oh, I guess that's handy, to be honest. We can compost that, put it on the seeds. Uh, oh. Sick. I don't know where we got that from, but we'll use it, definitely. Oh, we should. I don't want to sell those, but. Anyway, let's sell this milk. And let's buy some seeds as well. But we're just going to purchase normal seeds, not oversized crop seeds. One thing I thought of as well when I was watching other people's playthroughs is I don't know if there's already a mod for this, but a lot of people mentioned how they didn't know um, if a seed was around at, like in the 14th century or the 15th century because, you know, crops were kind of different back then. So that could also be like a really fun little mod for me to make. We will just get starter vegetables and starter herbs for now. Uh, maybe we should have more than one of the vegetables though. And that is a hundred and something, which is fine. <laughs> left, us, left us with four dollars again. <laughs> but we will plant. I actually need to look up what, um, what can be planted when. Oh, he's home. Oh no! God oh, damn it, dude! Oh, oh, oh. Nargah, grow. He gets sprayed by a skunk. <laughs> so he's come back with a small, two small rabbits, and a duck. <laughs> so I'm gonna like. I don't want to put them. Where is this thing? I don't want to like. I love the models for this. They're really good. So it's like just his, his little kill. Um, oh, you know what's even cuter than the cows in this game? The rabbits. I love the rabbits. They're, oh, they're so, so good. But like, there's no point in keeping them on a farm. So, right. I just need to <laughs> uh, open up the seed packets really quick. Um, I'm sorry about the MXAO, uh, you know, like you can kind of see it. If that bothers people too much, I can definitely turn it off. Just leave a comment and I'll turn it off for next time. Uh, yeah, let's open up these seed packets and see what we get. And then I will Google if that was available to them in the 14th century. So we have green peas, mushrooms and potato, I think. Taro root. That's interesting. Summer and spring. We're in spring at the moment. Um, let's open up. The other one and also the herbs. Okay, so we got more green beans. Yep, yeah, and we got carrots. I know we can definitely definitely plant these two. I'm not sure about the taro. Mushrooms would have been fine because they would have foraged that kind of stuff. I'm not sure about the green peas that probably was around, but like in a a more like uh you know, we've probably refined it since these days. So let me just check that really quick. Okay, so these are green peas, not green beans. I don't know why I was calling them that, but that is a yes to these. However, taro is a no because that was more like Central Asia. Um, so they wouldn't have had that then. However, we can plant everything else. So let's 
just get on that now. Um, I really keep thinking that's a potato. <laughs> Let's have the carrots over here. Okay, I need three. That's fantastic. <laughs> Just annoys me. <laughs> um, let's plant the green beans over here. You see what I mean about my mouse not clicking? So annoying, I need to buy a new one. But uh, I live in Darwin, we moved here recently. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> there you go, anyway. I moved to Darwin recently. It's doing it again. And, um, Basically can't get Amazon up here. No Amazon deliveries. Not that, uh, you know, you really should be. And um, I li live in Darwin City. You'd think that'd be like, uh, oh, I didn't know you could. That's cool. Uh, you'd think you would be able to, like, just go to a shop and buy anything you need, considering you're in a city. But there's, like, absolutely F all up here. I'm trying so hard not to swear. <laughs> uh, anyway, mushrooms are all planted. Uh, and the parsley. Um, I don't think I'm gonna plant all 12 because it's not really gonna, like, feed them. You know, not like anything else of this wood. So, yeah, only two parsley. I might actually sell the rest. Yeah, let's just sell that. Okay, so she's going to... She's sad again. It's the goddamn gruel. That's what it is. Um... Cows in the house as well. How can you be sad when there's this beautiful cow flipping through your wall? <laughs> and she's also sad because he's sad, I think, again. Anyway, he's in a happier mood, so he can go and plant these. He's always in the bath. You're a 14th century serf. You're not supposed... Girl, please. <laughs> Okay, I feel kind of bad. <laughs> Sorry, you have to eat gruel all the time. And there's a duck in your house. You can't be sad when there's a duck in your house. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about these literally immediately. I placed them down. Totally forgot about them. Can you come over here and do it? Probably need to sweep soon. And cut these rabbits as well. Okay, so we've got, well, we've got meat now. That's better than gruel, you don't need to be sad. So let me just pause for a moment because I need time to think. <laughs> I'm definitely going to change the time to be like 75 milliseconds. Maybe even, is there a thousand, a hundred milliseconds in a second? I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, let's just see what we can cook with that. I don't know why this is saying repair. Um... Okay, homemade produce, homemade ingredients. Oh, okay, I'm not going to do that right now. Let's just have a look, see what they could make with what they have in stock. Pottage. I love a good pottage. I am from England originally. I'm actually from the Cotswolds, which is a very beautiful part of England, uh, which is why they're called the West Cots. <laughs> In case you wanted to know, boiled eggs as well. Um, yeah, they're called the West Cots because it's like, West obviously means West, and Cot usually means like cottage or small house. So it's like little little house in the West Country. <laughs> um, yeah, it's so beautiful growing up in the West Country, though, in the, in the Cotswolds. Um, hot milk. I have, like, sort of played with this mod before, but, like, not, like... Properly played with it. Pigeon pie. We've got pigeons outside. Can we, can we, you know. <laughs> we really need to get our hands on some potato seeds. Um, We might actually like. I might send him foraging tomorrow. And I might use her to sort of like. Go out and scout about. See if there are any wild plants growing. God, I just had to check if I was recording. <laughs> Oh, God, my heart stopped for a moment. <laughs> it's been like an hour. So, um, sorry, I keep I keep clicking on broths and stews and all of that. So, yeah, I think I'm going to make some butter. Definitely. Can we make any... What do we need for these? Um, we would have wool if our sheep liked us. So, <laughs> anyway, let's make some butter. 
I think that is so cute that you can just... <gasps> I have... I swear I have a butter churner in the game somewhere. I swear I downloaded one. I will need to look up that. So I need to check in my mods folder if I've got one. I'm, I'm like sold on making a root cellar lot right now with lot challenge. You are annoying me so bad. <laughs> What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, it's six of this. She's a bit whiny, isn't she? Resume the butter. Why are they so obsessed with washing their hands? <laughs> she climbs it so slow. What is he doing? I forgot about him. He's still planting. Is it raining? Nice, we don't even have to water the plants. I hope they don't... Oh! Oh, dude. What is with these guys? Nice, we've got like... Oh, there's more mushrooms! Okay, is the cow still alive? Where is the cow? Oh, okay. Cow is still alive. Where's the sheep? Oh, okay, he is in there. Um, is she... actually doing anything? Oh, look at this. <laughs> Crying while she turns butter. <laughs> Um, I don't know what to do with these this tarot route. I don't know. You guys, please leave below what I should do with the stuff that, like, if we get any seeds or produce that they wouldn't have technically had in the 14th century. What are you now complaining about? What? Alright, she's just gonna eat. <laughs> now she's gonna be sad again because it's gruel. It's like a never-ending cycle. <laughs> um, anyway, let's Oh, I love the animals in this game. Even though this is custom, but yeah. Okay, he's like soaking wet. He's very uncomfortable. But I think he's done now. About to get like jump scared by Elf in there. <laughs> okay, so this is clean. Um, She'll do some laundry tomorrow. He could do with eating. Oh, okay, well... <laughs> Oh, that's right. I forgot we could do that. He's in a happy mood, so yes, we can. Although that wild honey it sells for eighty, doesn't it? You need to be claimed. She's busy. Um, we'll do that afterwards. Okay, nice. They let him take the honey. Let's press this. The filter the wild honey. I'm just gonna place it like that for a moment and just see if he actually. Oh, was it backwards? It was backwards. That would be why. Look at that little custom animation. Custom animations are really, really hard to do. Not just to animate, but to implement in the game as well. So anytime I see a custom object with a custom animation, I'm just like, I'm so impressed. <laughs> uh, let's sweep that up. And, oh, now we have jars of wild honey. Beautiful. Look at this custom animation. That's Mizzy's work. I'm not sure if Mizzy... I, I don't know, she might watch this. Did you do the animation for this or did someone else contribute? I'm not, I don't remember. I remember talking about you finishing this mod, but yes, it looks amazing, by the way. Well done. Ooh, that noise. <laughs> okay, now we've got our jars of honey. Oh. Okay, it scared me for a second. Wild honey. Yeah. Awesome, so... Oh, holy piss. <laughs> Sorry. That sells for so much money. Okay, he's just decided he's going to bed. Fair enough. So really, this needs to be outside, really, because we don't have room for this. You know what? We might in here. I am going to eventually put the, like, mead, meadery stuff in here. Um, But for now, that can just go out there. Now we just have a huge gap here. <laughs> Maybe I'll put like a bookcase or something. Um, I keep forgetting they don't actually have a lot of money. So, And she's also going to bed. <laughs> she's had enough. So we are coming to the end of our first full day really in the challenge. And I'm really enjoying it so far. I wish I could figure out what's going on with this butter. Um, I might have to put it in the fridge. Oh, they're doing their thing again. Oh. <laughs> 
I think this cow just never sleeps, so. Oh, sorry. What's this? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Yano Green. So now when it's pregnant, our first heir. Oh, it's so cute.